In this video, I will show you how to create a voting bracket. A voting bracket allows users to vote for the winners, with the outcomes of matches being determined by their votes. The voting option is available only for single elimination, double elimination, and March Madness bracket formats. First, you need to enable voting for your bracket. You can enable the voting option on the welcome screen. Or you can change the bracket type from the settings screen. Once you have enabled the voting option, there is one important setting you must configure. Without setting the dates for each round of the tournament, you will not be able to start your tournament. To set the dates for the rounds, enter the voting section. Here, you will need to add a start and end date for each round. Now you are ready to start the tournament. But before you do, let's explore some additional customizations you might want to add to your brackets. Be aware that certain customizations, particularly those related to the structure and format of the tournament, cannot be changed once the tournament has started. It's important to finalize these aspects beforehand. When creating a voting bracket, you may prefer to allow only registered users to cast their votes. To enable the user registration option, navigate to the voting section. Here, choose the option to detect users by their email and full name. Additionally, you can customize the sign-up message to fit your needs. Now, let's explore some of the more advanced features of the voting brackets. In the voting section, under rounds, you will find settings related to voting. Let's review them together. The button text allows you to customize the title of the voting button. Our default method to determine if a user has already voted is by their IP address. However, in some scenarios, such as in schools or offices, several users might share the same IP. In these cases, with the you can choose to identify users by their computer, or even by email and password, using the detect user by setting. If you prefer not to manually select the winner at the end of each round, you can opt to set the winner automatically based on the user's votes. The default setting allows one vote per user. Using the votes per user, you can modify this to enable users to vote more than once. The votes context setting allows you to determine how users will cast their votes, whether for each match separately or for all matches together in a list view. In the votes calculation you can choose how to display the results either by the actual number of votes each participant received or by percentage. If you prefer not to display the results continuously, you can set the show results to display the results only after a user has voted or only when the round ends. And that's it. For more tips and how-to videos, be sure to check out our website and YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching and happy bracketing!